Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Now, Hamanskral's unsafe water has reached deadly levels. A cholera outbreak in the area has killed 12 people so far, with scores of others hospitalized. Back in September of 2018, then Tswane Mayor Solim Simanga told the community that a purification plant was refurbished to solve the water woes. But he claims that a very plant was later vandalized. Ms. Simanga joins us now virtually to give us more details about this. Thank you very much, Mr. Simanga, for your time here on ENCA. This was 20 2018, when uh, the DA government uh, was saying that uh, it's top priority to fix the crisis, um, the water crisis in Hamanskral. But you say that uh, uh, the water purification plant was vandalized by the people who were hired to fix it. I understand the contractors and that there's a case in court around this. Just tell us more. Well, thank you very much for having us and for the opportunity. Um, when we started in 2016, we made a priority to ensure that the water in Hamans Kral is going to be fixed and fixed uh, permanently. You would remember that in 2017, I did make an announcement that we are going out into, um, into the market to find out if we will be able to then, uh, you know, get the plant, and not only the plant in Temba, but also the whole line up to Rayval sorted out. We were ready and we got uh, interest from uh, the private sector that was willing to come on board. When we were about to issue that uh, particular contract, Nongvulam Konyane's department stopped that. I wrote to the, uh, to the Premier to then say, uh, you know, why are we allowing politics to be the order of the day here? But fast forward, we then uh, decided that uh, once we had been stopped in, uh, in, uh, in Amman's crowd, or to deliver then, uh, you know, the project of the 10 key, let's focus then on uh, the timber plant itself. We then refurbished the timber. In fact, by December, we were already testing the oxygenation, uh, the oxygenization uh, tanks that were at weather. In January, um, you know, that same um, whole plant was vandalized. And you could see that it was vandalized by people who, um, you know, knew that once the water in Amman's Kral is going to be sorted, then the tankers will not be operating there. So we were then suspecting that it had to do with the contract of the tankers that knew, or the contract of the, the tankers that knew that, uh, you know, once this water in Amman's Kral is sorted, then they are going to be out of work. But unfortunately, you know, the residents became the casualty. Mm, seven years of the DA governing over the capital, yet this has not been sorted. I know that you inherited something, but seven years at the helm, and I, there I hasn't think it's been. Very much I think it's very much that statement is very much unfortunate. The water problem Why? in Amas Cross started in two. The water problem. I agree with you. I'm saying to you, I know that you inherited an issue, but you've been at the helm as well for seven years, and you haven't been able to sort it out in seven yes, years. I, and I try to paint to you what has happened ever since we came into office. Now, the the, the, the supply of water from um, from from uh, the, uh, the from the um, Rayval to um, downstream to Hamans Kral is something that requires also a national department's um, approval as well, because this is a major water um, you know a project. It's not something that Swan will be able to then do on its own. We're talking a minimum of about four billion range if we are to then uh, you know deal with this issue once and for all. Now, this is not something that a municipality will be able to do on its own, and this is why I was saying to you from the get go that we had written uh, you know to Treasury. Treasury said no, we can go out. We went out. There were already companies that were willing to come on board, but because there were those companies they didn't somehow. Uh, belong to or wouldn't be uh, beneficiaries of, uh, you know, the governing party, then the non Fulam Konyana shut this thing down. I don't know how the DA then gets to be blamed for that. We didn't stop But there. you do understand we that after then, being at the helm for seven years, you cannot exonerate yourself completely from the crisis that we are not the residents find themselves in. We're not exonerating ourselves. I am saying to you, this is a multi-billion rent contract. Even Tswani doesn't even have that money to deal with. This is um, requiring a national intervention in terms of being able to then provide either surety for the project to uh, commence or to actually then uh, be able to then uh, um, fund um, you know, that particular project. It's not something that Swani will have. As I said, a minimum of $4 billion. Swani has a capital expenditure of only 2.3, 2.4, or 2.7 at the most um, a billion rent a year. So even if Swani does nothing but you know put money towards this project, um, it will not be able to be done in a year or two. But if we are able to then get the national government, even at the provincial level, to come in on board, either to stand in a surety for Swani to go out into the private market and be able to then fund uh, um, this project through a public-private partnership, we should then be able to do this. The plans are already there. Um, 
um, the turnaround strategy is already there. What is needed at this point in time is to make sure that, uh, you know, there is resources to then uh, put this in place. So that's uh, where we are right now. So we're not standing putting our hands up in the air and saying uh, there's nothing that can be done. There is something that can be done, a lot that can be done. It's actually something that has already been done. But unfortunately, um, the rave out plant, which is the supply of the, 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 the majority of the water that flows through the temper, until such time as it's upgraded and actually then maintained properly, it's not going to then assist them, you know, the quality of the water in Amman's craft. So, Mr. Msimanga, then you agree with experts that say that there hasn't been enough political will to sort out the, issue, the issues in Hamans Kral, but you're saying that most of it is in the hands of the ANC and national government as well as provincial. Well, I'm saying to you factually, we can prove to you what we have done since we took over in 2016. We have gone out, um, you know, to, to, to require um, uh, 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 what we call the, 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 the interest um, when we're calling for people to show interest in a particular project, we have done that. The second thing is we had already received, um, you know, feedback from those same companies who are saying we want to come and work with you. We wrote to National Treasury, we wrote to um, the then uh, minister who was known for Lamponyan at the time to then say, here is a problem, we want you to fix this problem once and for all. We have the solution. We have, um, you know, companies that are willing to come on board and to resolve this issue. We are on record saying that. So if, um, you know, anybody must then take the blame, I think um, those that are sitting um, in the Department of, uh, of, of, of Water, um, you know, must then begin to then answer what did they do when we came to them and say, this is what we want to do. The province must also come and say, when I went to uh, David Makura to then say, this is a project that we want to go on. This is, um, you know, the plans that we do have in place. We are hitting, um, you know, a brick wall at a national level. Would you, as the premier, be willing to then engage at that national level to open the gates? And that, again, has been met with uh, unwillingness. So I don't know how we are then uh, to be blamed for this. But again, we can play politics um, all the time, or we can mm. come around and say, how do we find a solution to what is, um, you know, a problem? That is, um, you know, and, and not ending in the city, and in, the, in, the, in the city of Swami, particularly in Hamas crowd. Mm. Now, Mr. Msimanga, uh, Silius Brink, uh, the mayor of Swami, a DA uh, mayor, has been. Um, basically whisked away by his security personnel in Hamans Kral because the community chased him away. They don't want to hear from him. They're saying that the DA has been very reactionary. They had to wait for 12 people to die first before um, they come to Hamans Kral. Um, what do you say in response to what the residents are saying? Uh, first of all, it, it, your reaction to the fact that he was chased away, but residents saying the DA government has been very reactionary to this problem. Well, I think that is very much unfortunate that, uh, you know, there are councillors that are now actually manipulating the residents, um, you know, to act the manner, the manner that they're acting. But, uh, you know, again, it's, it's uh, uh, the continuation of playing politics, even with, uh, with people's lives, instead of allowing, um, you know, the mayor to go and assess the situation and actually to be on the ground and actually to pass the condolences to the family members. Now people seeing, an, uh, you know, something of an advantage that they should be taking or that that should be taking um, instead of allowing, you know, the, 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 the mayor to do what needs to be done. The mayor wanted to go. Um, yesterday was stopped by Ntate Banyazali Sufi um, in, the, in the pretext of, um, you know, him wanting to engage with the mayor first and actually going with the mayor there. But all of a sudden, you know, those plans changed. And, uh, you know, that is um, unfortunately things that the citizens don't know. But obviously because they are listening to people that want to incite them, want to then play politics, um, you know, with their lives and instead of providing solutions, this is where we find ourselves in. A very, very much unfortunate situation that we find ourselves in. But the mayor is, um, you know, very, very much um, you know, adamant that we need to find a permanent solution to this problem. He is working, um, you know, with his team, to, who are on the ground, by the way, to um, not only, you know, conduct, uh, you know, tests to then see what is the situation and where the problem um, could be lying exactly at this point in time, but to also then again resuscitate the talks to then say, how do we then ensure that this problem here is a problem that will be resolved once and for all, instead of uh, playing politics that uh, on the other side is being played. Mm. Mr. Msimang, I just have to uh, make cl a clarity some way. Uh, I know that I've run out of time. You know, in the same breath, you say that you're not exonerating the DA from this, and then you share the plans that you've, you've made, which we obviously covered. We were there when you were uh, still mayor, and we followed you uh, around Hamans Kral during the time that you were trying to sort this problem out. But 
in the same breath of saying exonerate, you're also talking about the other side playing uh, politics games, and I agree, and saying that uh, the residents are agreeing to be used as pawns in this political fight. So where in all that you've said are you taking some responsibility as the DA in this? Are you saying, yes, you're not exonerating yourself, but it's, we're not saying it's squarely your fault, but after seven years, you, you know, you could have pushed somewhere. I, ma'am, I, I can't repeat this more, more than... I'm not asking you to, to repeat. You, 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 you are I'm exonerating the you, DA from this. I, I'm saying to you two things. One, we started working on the Royval plant. But Royval is 60 years over its life capacity, as we, as we, as we, as we stand right now. Rayval needs to be rebuilt or there's bigger capacity that needs to go in there. Or right. else the water that goes downstream up to, um, you know, Temba will continue to be the same. We had the responsibility. I mean, we are the government now. We cannot exonerate ourselves. So whatever is happening right now, we will have to take responsibility of it. But what I'm saying to you is that national government needs to come in. The provincial government needs to come in and realize that until such time as we address this big issue that is Rayval, the people of Temba are going to continue mm. to have hopefully you, water yeah. that is not... Uh, and hopefully uh, everybody in all spheres of government will be able to put their political issues uh, to the side. We will be speaking to the Deputy Minister of Water and Sanitation to also get from him exactly what they've done when it comes to um, what's happening in the city of Tuane and Hamanskala. Now 12 people have passed away. That's the former uh, city of Tuane, Mayor Sorim Simang, who is also the leader of the DA in Gauteng.